Here's another investment opportunity from Choice Group Homes, your choice for amazing deals in real estate. Please visit us at choicegrouphomes.com and also our companion site, choicefornotes.com. And before we get started, a quick disclaimer right here. Please be aware that the achievement of any or all goals is not guaranteed. There is no assurance that the value of real estate would be sufficient to return any portion of an investor's original capital. These notes are being offered on a best efforts basis. By reading and reviewing the information contained in this presentation, the individual acknowledges and agrees that Choice Group Homes, Inc. and or its agents do not assume and hereby disclaim any liability to any party for any loss or damage caused by the use of the information contained herein or errors or admissions in the information contained in this presentation. To make any investment decision, whether such errors or omissions result from negligence, accident, or any other cause. Investors are required to conduct their own investigations, analysis, due diligence, draw their own conclusions, and make their own decisions. Any areas concerning taxes or specific legal or technical questions should be referred to lawyers, accountants, consultants, brokers, or other professionals licensed, qualified, or authorized to render such service. In no event shall Choice Group Homes, Inc., and or its agents be liable to any party for any direct, indirect, special, incidental, or consequential damages of any kind whatsoever arising out of the use of this presentation or any information contained herein. Choice Group Homes, Inc. and its agents specifically disclaims any guarantees, including, but not limited to, stated or implied potential profits, rates of return, or investment timelines discussed or referred to herein. So with that said, let's get started on this non-performing note deal from Choice Group Homes. So for those of you who are new to investing in notes, break it down for you, tell you how things go. We at Choice Group Homes is a private investment company. And what we do, we work in a real estate market. And what we do, we buy defaulted notes and mortgages. So if you're familiar with a note, a note is just simply a promise to pay, a promissory note. And usually we go on the secondary market and we obtain these notes. And that market can come via a bank such as uh, Chase or Wells Fargo. Even though we don't get a lot of our products from them, we usually uh, address Smaller banks, and we have relationships with smaller banks such as like Seaway Bank here in Chicago or Independence Bank or some of the more smaller banks. Um, we can deal directly with them and kind of help them clean up their books. And so a lot of times uh, a note or a mortgage becomes non-performing after anywhere from 90 to 120 days. So at this particular period in time, the borrower who, who took out a loan uh, first mortgage or, or second, they they stop paying on a loan. And so a lot of times we can go in and we can help banks and credit unions, even hedge funds, they uh, like to clean us off their books. And so we go in and we, we consult with the asset manager at the bank or the, uh, the person running the hedge fund, and we buy these uh, notes at, at deep discounts. Yeah. A lot of them are first or second position loans. And so what our company does, we, we buy them and we're able to work out in a different agreement with the borrower. Where the, the banks just really don't have the capacity or the uh, the time or they may not have the employee or the staff, you know, to, to pull it off. So we're able to take these notes and we can work with the borrower and, and do a loan modification and kind of get things turned around and get that note back to performing again. Thus, that's making it uh, pretty valuable at that point. Okay, so what we have here is a second position note. It's a junior lien, and uh, the property is located in Jacksonville, Florida. Uh, the senior lien on this particular note, uh, the first position lien is, is current. So, in other words, this person took out a second position loan, a junior lien, and they're paying their, their first mortgage. They're paying that on time. It's current. Uh, to, us, to us, really, this is an indication that the bar is, is they, they trying to stay in their home and that we could possibly do a workout or restructuring of the delinquent loan 
if possible, with, without having a foreclose on them. Now, foreclosure is another option um, when you actually, as a company, you you buy these loans. And unfortunately, sometimes you, you have to use the F word, and that's foreclosure, <laughs> where we, uh, we go in and we at least we kick off. Maybe we have to send them a demand letter from an attorney, just letting them know that, like, hey, we are serious about trying to work out something with you and get the loan back performing again, okay? So that's an option. But in this particular status, they are paying on their, their first. They just haven't paid on this one, the second position. They took out a second uh, lien on the house, and they haven't paid on it. So I'll give you some more uh, specifics on that in a minute. Uh, what also that we see this person uh, hasn't filed for bankruptcy as of yet, and they're not carrying a, a heavy debt to income ratio. So we, uh, as you take look, take different looks at these notes, you're able to look at the borrower's credit history and the credit report and kind of get a synopsis of how they are doing credit wise and what kind of risk you, you're looking to take on. Uh, this person had a 628 credit score. So it's a, a average credit score is not excellent. It's not poor though either. It's, it's a, it's one that they would like to maintain probably and, and would like to see it do a lot better. So probably just guessing probably the person is probably not interested in, in filing for bankruptcy. And, and that's just a, a guesstimate on that. Uh, so the unpaid principal balance, this is the, the balance that's currently owed on the second position. Uh, note is at $38,190 and 92 cents. Now, this is what they currently owe. They still owe this. So it's UPB or unpaid principal balance. And um, also, as we can see there in the rears, this person hasn't paid on the loan since 2012. So quite a bit behind. They owe $4,400 here, as we can see. So the total... Total payoff with arrears and the unpaid principal balance that hasn't been paid yet. It brings things around to $42,000 and $610 and 92 cents. All right. So uh, with all that said and done, we could uh, actually go in and purchase this uh, note anywhere from 20 to 25 percent of the UPB. So that brings us around somewhere around seventy five, seventy six hundred bucks uh, for the loan, and you got that thirty eight thousand up there plus the arrears, uh, which a total of forty two thousand dollars is owed on this on this uh, note. Now, check this out. Just imagine this: we go in and we modify the loan for the person. For the borrower. Now, it could be that we can adjust the interest rate for them. Um, maybe we can have them where they uh, bring the, the uh, loan current by paying all of the arrears or they can pay a portion of it and we can take and attach the rest of it to the, the back end of the loan and we extend the loan and send it out a little bit longer than what they currently had in order for them to be comfortable, be in a position where they can comfortably uh, pay the uh, pay this uh, mortgage every month. So let's say that, hey, they were paying $600 a month. Now, that might be a bit steep for them. Maybe something happened along the way where they weren't able to uh, pay on this, uh, this second position uh, lien that they got on the house. So maybe something happened. Maybe a medical uh, mishaps or something like that or extended credit card that I mean who knows maybe they, they have a, a child that's in college or something like that and, and needed to put additional income toward that well, what we can do by being the uh, the owner of this uh, lien we can just restructure that we can do a loan modification and so instead of them paying Six hundred dollars a month. Maybe they can comfortably play around four hundred dollars a month. They can they can pay that with ease, and so we can do a loan modification and drop the interest rate and have it so they paying four hundred dollars a month. Now we do all this stuff through a third party company called a servicing company, and a service company 
collects the payments for. So uh, the uh, borrower at the point that we take over the note or this uh, loan, they uh, get sent a RESPA letter in the mail, which is called a goodbye letter. And that's from the uh, previous owner of the loan, whoever carried that, that loan saying, look, hey, we no, no, no longer have your note, your loan. And uh, Choice Group Homes uh, will be picking it up. And then they get a hello letter from us. Hello, you know, we're the company who you be uh, making payments to. And so the uh, borrower send, sends those payments in to the servicing company. And the servicing company cuts us a check every month and, and sends it to us. So that's kind of how that works out. So let's say, let's say we got them down to $400 a month. Okay, $400 a month. And they are uh, paying this every month on time. And so annual leaders bringing in 400 is bringing in four thousand eight hundred dollars annually. It's forty eight hundred bucks is bringing in each year. Now, if we took 10 grand and invested in purchasing this, this note and having it service and all that good stuff, 10 grand a cash on cash return on ten thousand dollars purchase on this particular note would be a cash on cash return of 48 percent now you tell me <laughs> where you're gonna put your money at and get that type of return you you're certainly not gonna have your money sitting in the bank with a savings account which is like zero 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 point zero zero seven percent return or something like that you know, or checking account, uh, they they they're just not good investment vehicles. You know, uh, maybe your four hundred one k has turned into a one hundred one k. It's it's just not producing. Uh, you you missed out on the uh, the big ride in the, the stock market last year, and and you didn't participate in that. Well, here's an opportunity. Okay, so we're gonna go into that in details in in, in just a moment. So we're gonna. Set up the uh, the exit strategy right here, okay? All right, so let's discuss this exit strategy for this note. Now, we can see that it is a very affordable, low-risk investment with a very valuable return on it. The investor is, the investment is tied to the, the real estate, actually. It's some tangible, it's secured by real estate, and it's owner-occupied, and the senior lien is current on it. Remember the... The uh, borrower is paying a first position uh, lien. They're paying it on time and it's current. Again, if the borrower is paying their first mortgage on time, then it's likely that they're intending to stay with the property. In other words, they fell in love with their house. They like the neighborhood. Kids are in school. Things are going quite well in the neighborhood. and they, Likely, they want to stay there. They're not trying to uproot and move um, because a foreclosure can happen on a first lien and a junior lien. You can get foreclosed on, in case you all didn't know that, from a junior lien, from the second position. So a, a lot of people think, and this, this is where we get in trouble at, a lot of people think that as long as, hey, my, my first mortgage is being paid, I know I took out a second loan, but I ain't worried about that. Actually, that, that, that person that owns that second position lien can foreclose on you. So be mindful of that. And a lot of people don't think it's possible. Hey, I'm paying my first, so I'm good. Well, you're sadly mistaken. You can get foreclosed on from the second position. So what typically the strategy is when you purchase a second position uh, lien, uh, you you want to have some equity in the, uh, in the first position with the senior lien. So if you... If you had to foreclose from the second position, then you want to be able to foreclose, take back possession of that property, but you still you still responsible for that senior or that, that first position loan. Once you uh once you cash out, you got enough to, to pay out, you know, that, that first position and be done with the deal altogether. You know, so that's something to look at. So what the whole scenario here is that we purchase the second position lien and you do a workout agreement uh, with the borrower. And what this is, is a, a repayment plan that's suitable for that borrower 
in their current situation. So the borrower has an average credit score indicating that they probably want to damage their, their credit by filing for bankruptcy. So you typically would be able to work out an agreement with them. When they say, look, hey, you know, hey, listen, man, you, you're you going to have to pay on this loan. And what we do as a company, we're willing to work with you. So let's let's find out what you're working with. Uh, so maybe, you know, look, hey, it's tax season coming around. Maybe you want to get, get the loan current and pay off the arrears. And maybe they had the money to, to put down to take care of the arrears. And then we readjust the interest rate on the loan. And we can extend it out for them a little further. Maybe they had 20 years to go on. And maybe we can extend it back out to 25 or to 30 years uh, so that they can comfortably pay that uh, pay that loan off. And that's what you want to do. That's what you're you're able to do as a company. You can work with them so they can do that. And uh, just basically doing a loan modification, you know, straighten, straighten things out for them. Uh, whereas some banks at times they do do loan modifications. A lot of times they turn them down. They just, uh, they, like I say, a lot of the banks, they, they, they don't have the, uh, the time or the staff to, to do a lot of the things that we, we can do as a private investment company or what hedge funds are able to do. And so a lot of times they, they take a, a, a write off, they take a charge off and, and they just basically, uh, get it off their books and end up taking a smaller amount for that loan. We come in and buy it. That's why you can, you can pick it up between 20, 25 cents on a dollar on a, on a second position lien, you know, like that. Um, once we do that, um, as we work this out with the borrower, then the note will eventually become a performing loan. So we did a workout agreement or a loan modification. They agreed to it. They signed off on it, and they're making the payments. They're paying the $400 a month. They're paying it on time. Um, what this does, this increases the value of the note as it turns around and becomes a performing asset. So now they're paying on it. So now... It started out as a non-performing note. Now it's performing. They're paying on it. So after about six to 12 months, we can turn around and resell the note as a re-performing note and cash out and be done. And that would be the uh, particular strategy for here. That, that's one. That's one way to handle it. Or, you know, we can uh, continue to hold on to this note for passive income. And so, in other words, you, you add it to your portfolio. You know, uh, like I said, it was forty two thousand dollars owed on that on, on this loan. You imagine you got four hundred dollars a month coming to your mailbox every month. You just go and collect a check. Now, mind you, the beautiful thing about owning notes that's different from traditional real estate and holding rental property. You, you the hardest work was just doing the workout agreement and, and then again you're you're doing that with a third party servicing company they the one did the, the servicing and, and handled the, the contact with the bar you don't you don't have to do none of that uh you actually don't want to do that you want to let a third party company that's professional that know how to handle that like fci exchange or you got land home financial some of these third party Servicing companies are good at that. And you as a private investment company, you tell the service company what you want to happen with this loan and how you want things to go. And then they have the professional team that calls the borrower up or they make the, the initial contact with the borrower. It was called a wake up. <laughs> go and wake them up. Look, hey, you know, they got the goodbye and the hello letter. You know, saying, like, hey, a new company took over your loan. You guys probably seen that if if you ever had an auto loan, a car a car note, and a lot of times uh, your, your uh, loan could get taken over by another company that way. This happens a lot with, with, with those type of loans as well. So anyway, uh, you you add this uh, to your portfolio and you, you got continuous cash coming in. And the difference between the two is that with traditional real estate, you don't have to worry about fixing toilets or dealing with tenants. <laughs> you're just collecting, you co you're collecting a uh, cash flow every month, and it's a good way to to uh, build up wealth. You know, you're building up passive income, 
and you're not working hard at all. You just go to your mailbox. You you didn't worked out an agreement. You you were you did some good because you're able to keep this bar in their home, and you were able to modify this loan and restructure for and make it comfortable. So it's a win win in all fronts. Is is a win win in three different fronts. For, for for one, when you bought this note off the secondary market from the bank or the hedge form for uh, the, the hedge fund or a broker. Brokers, uh, you have uh, note brokers out there too that that uh, have pools of notes. Uh, so when you you bought this, is a win win for all parties. So what what happens is you got it from the bank. They were willing to take a discount, get the thing sold, get off their books, and recoup some of their money. So you're able to help them out. Now you've taken over the loan, and then you've been able to help the borrower out. The borrowers in the jam, they needed a situation where they can work out the, the loan and uh, get it back to performing again, They're able to, to go back to paying on the loan, and then you're getting a return. I mean, look, hey, got to face it, this is a business. And this is the reason why you do it. It's an investment business. And you go out and this particular niche, you go out and you, you snatch up these loans. You you build up a portfolio base full of these loans. And uh, you're creating passive income. So win-win for everybody. You know. All right. So let's go and get down to business. <laughs> let's go to talk about where you can come in and you can purchase this note for yourself, for your own portfolio at a steep discount and start growing your business. Or you can joint venture. We can work out a joint venture where you and Choice Group Homes, we create uh, a partnership that brings you in and get you this note. Or we take care of the note and just get you some passive income. We'll manage the uh, maintenance and the servicing and acquiring of the note and the processing and doing the due diligence. It, it is a process. You can't, you literally just wouldn't want to go buy all non-performing seconds. There are some good and some are not good. Uh, maybe some of the ones that are not so good are where the first position, it, there's no equity there. So if you had to foreclose, you more than likely wouldn't be able to recoup your investment because there's no uh, there's no equity there. So you foreclose, you go to sell the thing, and it's not much money there. But on the second front, maybe it might be enough money there compared to what you paid. You, you remember you paying 20 to 25 cents, sometimes a lot cheaper than that on seconds, anywhere in the 10 to 15 cent range on a dollar. You, you bought it at a steep discount, and when you go to sell the thing, you know, it may not be as much as you would have got if you had a worked out an agreement or did a loan modification with the bar and got it performing again. So someone has to go through with, with the microscope and look through these pools of notes and pick out some of the best ones. And with seconds, a lot of that re requires looking at the person's personal credit as well. OK, so. With a minimum investment of 10 grand, I mean, because uh, let's face it. Um, we playing around with anything else uh, uh, to make a serious return. A minimum of ten grand would get you started with us, uh, so that um, we can go out and look at some second or even first position uh, notes. But this one is is a second, so that would get you get you a uh, a piece of real estate uh, that's secure. It's secure by the property. Okay, and what? Uh, what the whole beauty of this thing is, is that your money is not tied up for a long period of time. You you don't have to go three, three to five years, 10 years with your money tied up like in some other uh, investment uh, programs. You know, you you do a short term finance and anywhere from 12 to 18 months, we be able to uh, purchase the second position note, uh, do the workout and servicing on it. Uh, get it back to reperform it again and sell it or or hold it for a uh, passive income. And it don't take a long period of time to do that. And you can determine at what point you want to be in on that. So you partner with us, you you collect a double digit return on your capital. And you certainly cannot. <laughs> again, like I stated earlier, you, you're not, not going to get that off your CD. Uh, 
your certificate of disappointment <laughs> or or more than likely not getting that nowadays in a in a up and down stock market so you you get net uh with a particular deal like this uh you got a low loan to value ratio going here um we're not going to put all your money and invest all the capital after one particular investment. So a low, uh, low to value, uh, loan to value ratio around seventy percent. We don't put all the capital into one investment. We like to leave some, uh, some room in there, some wiggle room, you know, in case uh, we have to do some additional things to to get the the loan turned around. So we don't max out uh, with the capital. And we keep some in reserve, you know, just for a rainy day in case things have to uh, get turned around or to make sure you get in a return. Uh, and that's the most important thing. So if you're interested in it, you got to act today. You want a little more info? That's fine. We can talk about that as well. Uh, you're just not going to get the whole gist of how to invest and not perform in those right here in this, uh, this short presentation. We just... We look at these things on a weekly basis, we tons of them. I mean, they, they come on an Excel spreadsheet. It's called a, a pool, or another word for it is a tape. They, they come, and it has the uh, the property address and uh, the unpaid principal balance on it. Uh, like with the seconds, it, it has if the, uh, the, the first position, if it's current, how much they own that, how much equity is in the uh, property and things like that. And it's, it's set out on the Excel spreadsheet so you can kind of make a determination on uh, which note you want to pick up. Okay, so we get several uh, of note pools per week. They come in in first and second position uh, liens. And uh, like I say, we decipher and go through them with a, a magnifying glass and determine which are the best ones uh, that's suitable for investing in. Uh, likewise, we do uh, find and flip single family houses and multi family apartment buildings as well. So we, we do deals on that. And as you can see, starting to get in, into some of the uh, educational portion of investing in notes and real estate. And I would like to do a lot more of that in the future. And if you're interested in that, uh, do, do let me know. Well, uh, has this information been somewhat useful to you? You know, uh, let us know here. Uh, this is the way to contact me. Uh, you want to send over email, info at choicefornotes.com. And uh, you can also go to our site, uh, choicefornotes.com. A lot of a lot of different articles, blog, and stuff that I got on there uh, that can tell you a lot about notes and seller financing and why people do it. What's their purpose for doing it? Uh, you can get a lot from that. Uh, if you're interested in this particular deal, Jacksonville, Florida, second position note, ten grand. We do a joint venture, and we're going to take down this note, get it performing, get a nice return. Like like I said uh, earlier, the uh, what's that rate of return here annually thing bringing in if. And they're just a just a guess. If we got the bar paying four hundred bucks a month, it's bringing in forty eight hundred bucks annually, and that's a cash on cash return of forty eight percent. Now, you do the math on that. Where, where would you get that kind of return at these days? Uh, they they far and few. <laughs> so, who good luck on that? This is Lloyd Bowman, president of Choice Group Homes. You want to give me a call? Very serious people only. Serious people. If you're serious about this business and you, 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 you're thinking about it, you've been wanting to start you a business, want to get yourself going, I share with you what I know. And it'll be more in, in these type of formats uh, with the webinars and, and presentations and stuff like that uh, where I can give you a little more of what, what I've learned over the years and in, uh, investing in real estate. But, but if you want to call me directly, Thinking about this note deal, I think you might be interested in taking it down and tell you how to get everything set up, and we can talk about doing a joint venture together. Uh, number here in the office is 
708-206-6180. That's 708-206-6180. That's the uh, number to the offices here in Choice Group Homes. So give us a call. Sit back and talk. Check out the sites. I'm going to say for more info, it's choicefornotes.com. And also our main site, choicegrouphomes.com. Do that. Let's go and make some money. It's 2015. It's time to uh, build power, wealth, and influence. Just be about it. Be smart. Start your business. You know you need businesses. So this can be one. This is a particular niche in buying uh, defaulted notes and mortgages. It's a very specific niche. And there's not a whole lot of people in this space. And the ones that are successful, they, they learn the tricks and the tools of the trade. So that's how you do it. Get in touch with me. Enjoy. And uh, talk with you soon.